Well, hello there. I am filming a video in a new location today. Follow me on Instagram, you know. I finally, finally got a new car. This has been a long time coming. You guys have watched me complain about this in many a vlog. My car definitely was on its last leg and what finally took me getting rid of it was a sheriff pulling me over because my car was about to explode. So, finally got a new car and I am obsessed with it and I thought we would do a video today of me just organizing it. I've never had a new car before in my life. I've always had used cars so this is so exciting for me. It has all like the cool gadgets and everything and it really kind of feels like a new beginning for me so I wanted to make sure that it was organized and feels like a fresh start, you know? I'm sure you're probably wondering what kind of car I got. Um, I got a Toyota Venza and I did a lot of research and I actually asked those of you who follow me on Instagram about basically every car. Um, I mean, you all are the best pool of research that I could possibly ask for because you are you will give me your honest opinion. And so many of you have had different types of cars. I'll be honest, I don't really trust many car review websites or YouTube channels that review them because they're all gonna be biased in some way. Um, obviously I still watch them just to get information and stuff, but I trust y'all's opinion way more than I trust some random, you know, website. I asked you all about many different brands and the one that kept coming up as reliable because that's what I asked for. I said, I'm done with luxury. My last two cars were luxury. It was the biggest waste of money. Um, if you have money to burn, if money's just burning a hole in your pocket, go for the luxury. They're really fun. They're fast cars, but I could not do another luxury car after that. <laughs> um, my last one was at least $300 every time I took it into the shop and it had so many problems. Every single year I was taking it almost every three months and yeah, so I have had a bad experience. I know people who have had great experience with luxury cars, I am not one of them. So I basically wanted something reliable that would last forever and Toyota kept coming up as a popular option. Those of you that have Toyotas love your Toyotas so much. You've had them for, some people were saying 12 and 14 years. I think someone even said 20 years, like their dad or mom had had a Toyota for 20 years, something crazy like that. So it just felt right. And the puzzle pieces kind of all fit together once I started looking into cars. I knew I wanted a smaller size SUV. I've never had a smaller size SUV before, but that's what Jesse has. And I love driving his car. I feel safe in it. LA is crazy. And I had a two door convertible before this and it was very scary to drive on the freeway. So I knew I wanted something that was like a smaller sized SUV so I can still park easily, but also, you know, take it on road trips and pack the dogs in and feel like I have space. So I wanted that. I wanted faux leather interior because Obviously vegan, I am not a fan of leather. And since I was looking at new cars, that was definitely a priority for me. Um, used cars, I mean, that's totally up to you, I get it. It's like almost impossible to find a fully vegan car, um, let alone, you know, that's within your budget and things like that. So no judgment there, but just wanted to disclaim that that was something I was able to prioritize and I wanted to. And I wanted it to be a hybrid. I wanted it to be better for the environment, more efficient. And yeah, I feel like that's a really smart move since gas prices have been so crazy lately and the last thing I wanted was a moonroof I did not have that in my last car because my last car was a convertible and I always felt very claustrophobic in it so I knew I wanted that like openness yeah so when I started looking into cars this was definitely the one that checked every single box there were others that I liked but not as much as this one. I actually originally looked at the RAV4 and I still really, really love that car a lot. I think it's so cute, super sporty. Um, but this one had a little bit more of a luxurious feel to it, but it's also um, about the same price as the RAV4. So RAV4s are in really high demand right now. I'm just like giving you guys the lowdown on all my car stuff. That's not what this video is about. This video is about organizing it. Anyways. Didn't get the RAV4. They're very limited in supply and very overpriced right now. Venzas are brand new, so they're not, and I love it. I love it so, so much. There are so many cool features. 
and I couldn't be more grateful, honestly. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I feel less stressed every time I drive somewhere. Anyways, I got a matcha from Alfred and figured I'd just park and organize my car with y'all. So, I've already taken some of the stuff out and put it in my car, but the first thing I got were these little chargers. This car does have a wireless charger. You can just literally slide your phone and it charges without plugging it in, which is super awesome. But in order to use Apple CarPlay, you have to plug it in. And I use Apple CarPlay all the time, um, you know, to play Spotify. It's nice if you get like a text on the road, it will read your text to you. And then I also like to use Google Maps because that's the maps that I'm like most comfortable with. So you have to plug it in for that. So I got this that came in a two pack and there's two uh, USB ports so it works out perfectly and I also felt like it would be good for when I have guests in the car or for road trips and I picked these specifically because they have three different types of ports so you have your regular iPhone port you have a USB-C and then this is I don't know I think a regular USB is what they call this I'm not sure whenever Jesse and I travel to go like visit his parents it's about a six hour drive and usually one of us will be doing work in the car so this is great this is the charger that my vlog camera uses so if ever I'm out and about vlogging and my camera battery is running low I can just plug it in and charge it like this and yeah it's just really efficient I like how you can control how long it is so when I'm not using them they can just be kind of tucked in there like this and not take up a ton of space so yeah so far I haven't really used the wireless charging feature that much because why would I when I usually use Apple CarPlay. So the next thing I got is this little trash can. I thought it was so cute. It's a nice little like gem faceted shape and it's tiny so it fits in a cup holder which I feel like is great for road trips and honestly like if I ever have trash in the car it's going to be something small like a receipt, a straw wrapper, you know like little things like that. If I ever have anything big to throw away like a you know like a cup or um if i'm on a road trip and i'm eating fast food then i usually just throw it away like when i get to my destination but for the littler things this is so nice just to kind of like keep your car clean at all times and i love it i just keep it down here um there's like a little area for um where you can either put a cup or you can put just extra things so i love that next thing i got is um, I've actually had this for a while. I had this in my old car too. This is called Bottle Pro and it is um, something that goes into your cup holder and it allows you to fit the 32 ounce Hydro Flask, which is my emotional support water bottle and I take it everywhere with me. <laughs> so I definitely needed this. I love it. The only thing is that there's really nowhere to put it when I don't need it. You know, like if ever I have a guest and they want to put their cup in this cup holder, and I have a drink and I have my hydro flask, there's nowhere for me to put this huge thing. So I don't know, I might try to find a better option, but in the meantime, I already had it and it works great. Next, this was a little bit extra of me, but it wasn't that expensive. It was like 40 bucks and I feel like I need it because the floor gets very dusty very easy and in the cracks of these seats, um, if you drop like even a crumb, it's like stuck in there. So I got this little mini vacuum. We're opening it for the first time together. So um, look at this little unboxing action. Sleek. <laughs> should probably read the instructions first. And it looks like it comes with a little add on. Oh my God, perfect for to like really get in to the seat. You can either use it like this or slide this part up. I don't know how you add this on. I definitely, oh, so it sticks right here when you're not using it. Oh my God, that is so cool. And it charges with a little USB port. So I have that in here and I can charge it whenever. Let's definitely read the directions. Okay, so to use it, you remove <laughs> it's 
excuse me, remove from the base. So this is the little dirt bin and they give you an extra filter as well. This is, this is the vacuum. This is the base. Okay, that was confusing, but we figured it out. Go us. So I will probably keep this in my trunk if I'm being honest. I'll probably put this somewhere. Okay, I just turned my car off. So as you can see, the moonroof changes to a like fogged over version, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the next thing I got is this flint lint roller um i've used these before i have one that i keep in my handbag but i definitely wanted to have one in my car because i always switch my handbags and i don't always transfer everything over so this is a must if you have dogs you know you know what i'm talking about next i got these zeiss lens wipes which are going to be good for the screen i have a pretty big screen in this car so it gets fingerprints on it really easily and i also always need this for my vlog cameras like right now there's a fingerprint on my lens i see you so these are just good to have i think for that i'm not going to keep this whole box because this is so big but I am gonna take a few out and keep them in here. They're in like little things like this. I will probably just take some out and leave them in here so that I can regularly wipe this down and then I can just throw them away in my little trash can, which is so great. This is like an accessory that I got for my dog's car seat, have in the trunk of my car and it came with these, but I lost one. So I'm just replacing it with this one. I will link that car seat down below if you're interested. I love it so much. The next thing I got are these little hooks that hook on the back of your headrest. And then there's a little hook right here where you can hang your purse or you can hang grocery bags or something like that, which I think is so helpful because I never know what to do with my purse in my car. And I feel like it's really rough on the car to just like throw it into a seat and I don't like to put it on the floor because then I feel like it's gonna get dirty. So this is just like the perfect solution. I don't know why cars don't already have something like this. Like they should all just come with this, but. Next, I got this little mini brush. This is from Wet Brush. I love Wet Brush. That's what I use at home for my full-sized brush, but I definitely need a little travel size. I don't even know if in-person auditions are gonna be a thing anymore. But when they were, it was so nice to have like a little kit of everything that you could possibly need um, for touch-ups and stuff. So a brush is a must and my hair just gets super tangly. So I feel like this is gonna come in major, major handy. And it's so cute and it's a little monstera leaf. I love it, it looks like a Barbie brush. So cute. So that is everything I bought new. Now, Let's organize. So I have this like little clear box that I got from Target. Right now it just has a bunch of random stuff in it, but I would like to organize it a little bit better. So I'm gonna put the brush in here. Um, I feel like it's gonna be one of those less used, less frequently used things. I also wanna keep a hair clip in here because I feel like sometimes I'm out and about and I don't have one. I did want to put a lip balm in here, but I don't think I have one with me. So I am going to add a lip balm to this. So I'm also going to put a highlighter in here. I always need them for scripts and stuff. Um, so always good to have on hand. And again, if in-person auditions become a thing again, I will need it. I'm going to put this Derma E powder sunscreen in here. I've been using a spray sunscreen that I keep in my bag, but I really like this powder one too. So I'm just going to keep it in here for emergencies. And I'm also going to put this deodorant spray in here. You know, if you use natural deodorant, sometimes you're out and about and you're like, damn, I stink. And then you have to go into like a random Starbucks and wash your armpits with soap. And then it like, only last you for like an hour and then you stink again. So very excited to put this in here. I already know I will need it and I will be grateful for it. So, and then the last thing I'll put in here, this is, I guess it's just gonna become like my little like beauty thing is this hand cream from Sacred Rose. And I'm just gonna pop the top on like that. And then I can put little things on top in here as well. 
that's gonna go in the center console it fits like actually pretty perfectly and then I have my hand sanitizer spray which I'm gonna probably just put on top of that because that is gonna be something I use more same with these lens wipes I think I'm just gonna put that on top as well the flint roller I'm just gonna put in the middle and then I'll put the filter in there as well I have some extra masks I also really want to get like a microfiber towel and some wet wipes to keep in here as well so I definitely need to order those this is a reminder to future Hannah to get some of those but I did pick up some extra napkins from Alfred um, while I was there because you never know when you need them. This little thing is to um, adjust your cup holders. So they can either be deep or they can be a little more shallow depending on your drink. So like this obviously is smaller so it needs to be a little higher up. But if I have like a large drink, which I love a large iced tea from a fast food place, then I would take that out and use the deeper cup holder. America. Oh, the other thing I got is a tripod for my vlog camera. So it's, you guys are on it right now. And I'm really excited about that because I've always tried to like vlog in the car and then either my camera falls or it's shaky because I'm driving. So now I can have it in the car and vlog more freely when I'm like out and about and do things like this. You are on that and I will take you off and show you and show you my little organization as well. All right, so this is the tripod. It sticks to your windshield and then it is just like sits right there, which is really cool. It doesn't really block, doesn't block my vision or anything. It's small and I'm able to adjust it so that the camera is where I want it to be and I love it a lot. First, I'll show you what's in the center console so this is that little thing i was showing you so here's the napkins the masks the lint roller my hand sanitizer lens wipes the charger for the vacuum and then that's where i'm keeping my brush deodorant my hand lotion my hair clip and sunscreen yeah so let's grab one of these so as you can see, it has all these fingerprints from me using it. Oh wow, already better, so much better. I like these because they're made for camera lenses, um, oops, and screens. So they're designed to not leave any streaks. So it's not like um, a wet wipe. You do have to put a little bit of elbow grease into it because they're not like sopping wet, but as a result, they don't leave streaks so wow how do I not get fingerprints on it though it's like I wash my hands all the time but it's just like the oils from your fingers so yeah that looks amazing I'm gonna wipe this down too especially while my car is off that is that and then I will throw it away in my little trash can down here so cute. And then down here, this is where the chargers plug in. And this is what I was telling you is a charger. You literally just throw your phone in here and it charges itself. So cool. All right, y'all, that's it. I've made this video way longer than it needed to be. The lighting has changed significantly. Okay, let me know in the comments what is one must have you have in your car that people probably wouldn't think about because I feel like there's so many that I still need to add to my car and I need inspiration. So please leave it in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any questions about my car. Um, I know you guys have been here with this journey with me, so I'm happy to answer any that I can. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Bye. Oh, also don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and you wanna see more like it. Um, I'd love to have you around, bye. Thank you.